CO2 emission, uh, climate change, uh, definitely uh, something very important on the political agenda at the moment. Uh, agriculture contributes uh, to uh, greenhouse gases, that's, that's clear. Uh, it is more the livestock uh, part than the, than the crop production area. Uh, one thing we should do already is to avoid expanding the cultivated land. Because if you turn um, grassland or if you turn forest in, into cropped area, you, you basically release a massive amount of, uh, uh, of greenhouse gases. So the first responsibility uh, is to maximize the potential of cultivation on the land we have. Um, the second thing we, we, we do and we have to do with farmers together is, is to look at the impact of various technologies on, on farming. Um, you have uh, basically uh, the use of, uh, of fuel, which is definitely and the, f the use of fertilizer. These are the main contributor for, for uh, greenhouse uh, emissions. So what farmers can do and should do is, is to go with um, improved uh, mechaniz mechanization technologies and optimize use of fertilizer. And one example is, is the no-till or the low-till uh, techniques where you stop uh, plowing the, the, the land every year. And this has definitely an, imp an improved uh, impact on, uh, on the greenhouse gases. But that goes hand in hand with using the right tools of crop protection because if you are no longer plowing the land, you may expose uh, yourself to, more, to having more weed problems. So, and, and we see that the use of crop protection product in this case has a very, very minor um, effect on the, on, the, on the greenhouse gases. So we, we see, I mean, when we look at that from that perspective, that um, modern use of crop protection products using sound rules uh, can be a very uh, beneficial tool uh, for farmers uh, to improve the carbon balance. So this is one of the ways they can be contribution. If you look at um, what you, the output you get, I mean the kilogram of potato or, or fruit which you get per hectare, uh, simply because um, the yield of um, modern agriculture is higher than the, the yield of organic uh, agriculture, uh, then uh, you have Per kilogram of fruit, apples, for example, you will buy or whatever crops you will buy, you will have a lower footprint uh, with modern agriculture compared to organic farming. So I, I don't want to criticize uh, organic farming. I think it brings all the all the things. It's, it has to do with also uh, with tradition. It has to do also with the way the uh, the supply chain is organized, direct purchase from farms, or these kind of ideas. So this is a different way. It has its own benefit, but if we look specifically on the greenhouse gases, organic farming is certainly not the solution.